And just days before the city starts and marks the 20 years since the tragedy, students in the upstate are finding ways to honor the lives of those lost. Our Renee Wunderlich has more from Bob Jones University. Some of the students who placed these flags, they were just babies on September 11th, 2001, and some of them weren't even born yet. So we asked, what does all this mean to them? 20 years ago, some of these students were infants. Personally, I was just a baby, so I don't really remember, and I know that most of the student body here is in the same boat. I was born the same year that it happened, a few months before. I was born in 2002, August 1st, so I was not alive. None of them know a world before September 11th, 2001. Undergraduates at Bob Jones University placed nearly 3,000 flags to honor the victims. Their names listed outside the college's entrance. Inside, a piece of the Twin Towers flanked by flags. They say most of what they learned about this day comes from history books, documentaries, or what their families told them growing up. One of my aunties was a colonel in the military working at the Pentagon. So when the plane hit in the field in Pennsylvania, then also the World Trade Centers, it also attacked the Pentagon. The university's president says this anniversary hits home for many patriotic students. With the withdrawal of our troops from Afghanistan, with the loss of 13 Marines just recently, um, and, and all that's going on with that, that's more prevalent in the news. So they have much more of a heightened awareness today than they would have even a year ago. And now the next generation, students in the Army and Air Force ROTC, are getting ready to defend this flag. Knowing about this has helped me uh, realize my place in the community to be able to serve. The lights behind me will shine all week. They symbolize the towers, but they also draw your attention to the names on this monument. Those are the names of the victims, and the light shines so they'll never be forgotten. At Bob Jones University, Renee Wunderlich, WYFF News 4.